Hello YouTube and my five or six subscribers or however many I have now. I've been playing this game called Minecraft recently. It's a great little game. And it's basically a creation game where you just build stuff. And I've created right here what is a two bit two bit computer like object. It's more like an adding machine than a computer. But basically it takes two numbers that are two bits and it adds them together into a 3-bit number. So that's kind of cool. I've had some really bad sync issues with the audio in the past, so I'm going to try to get all the moving out of the way in the beginning of the video and then explain how it works while I'm stationary at the end of the video. So I'm going to add 1, 0. That's a 1. That's a 0. To 1, 1. Now, as you can see here, this, this thing is called redstone in the game. When it is activated, or it's a 1, it ha it looks like red with a little fire on it. When it's 0, it's just kind of blackish red. So, um, I'm going to go walk over to my output, and I get 3, no, I get, no, I'm sorry, I get 1, 0, 1, which corresponds to 5. So 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, hooray, that's right. Yay. So, basically the gist of how I made this work, I'll add something else in the meantime, is that I use logic, and here I've got 3.3, .3, or 3 plus 3, which is 110, which is 6, which, hooray, is also correct. So I'm going to go climb up in a tower, so that I explain how this works, and so that I can see everything. So while I'm doing that, I'm a first year student of computer science at Georgia Tech, and I'm absolutely in love with my studies, which is why I built this thing. This is really, really cool, I think, just using logic gates to do elementary operations. So right now, this thing, the only thing they can do is add, which is okay by me. And you can see from this view up here, the kind of, the, um, the on circuits, which are the redder circuits, and the off circuits, or the zero circuits, which are darker. The architecture that I used to build this is that I used three Zor gates, which are the, um, the bigger gates. Like, the, there are three of them. There's one by the output, and there are two out by the inputs. Th these are gates that take two inputs, so they've always got two things going, like two, um, two wires going into them, and they have one output. And that the, what they apply to them is if the inputs are both on or they're both off, then it returns a zero or an off. And you can see this on the left, on the left door, where the um, where I've got two torches down, two inputs. So I've got two ones being inputted going into the Zor gate, and it outputs a zero, which is an off, off wire. And in the other one, a Zor gate, if the if the two inputs are different, like there are one and a zero, or a zero or a one, then it outputs a one. And you see this on the right Zor gate, where I've got a one and a zero on the inputs, which outputs a one or an A on. A like an on wire. I've got two NOR gates or NOT gates. I'm sorry. And what NOT gates do is they invert the bits. So there is there is one on the left side by the lake. It's just a single block, and there's another one on the right side directly above the right Zor gate. Now I'll get to those two blocks on the very right later. But basically, what happens here is that I use the Zor gates to add down a column, and I use a NOT gate to carry a column. So th that's how that works. I've got a schematic written on a whiteboard on my wall if anybody wants to see it, but I'm not going to post it unless somebody asks for it, because I'm lazy. But I think this is really cool for me. That um, I hope you guys do too. And I'm hoping I can extend this into different, oh, different bigger bits, maybe in the future. Depending on how much time I have, since I'm a freshman at Georgia Tech, I don't have a whole lot of time to do stuff. But, I think this is really cool, and the video is probably screwing up right now, because nighttime in Minecraft is bad for video. But, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, you can just ask them. I might not be able to help them, since I'm only for... I might not be able to answer them, since I'm just a first-year student, but I'll do my best. And, so yeah.